In this three-part video, the basics of FLAC and how the equations of motion are solved will be covered. In addition, the scripting language available in FLAC, called FISH, will be introduced. The goal of these videos is to provide the basics of FLAC so that the users of the program will better understand the numerical details of the program. In this last video, part three, the scripting language FISH will be presented. FISH, standing for FLAC-ish, is a scripting language embedded in FLAC that enables the definition of new variables and functions. Functions may be used to extend FLAC's usefulness and add additional user-defined features. FISH does less error checking than most compilers, so all functions should be tested on simple data sets before they are used for real applications. FISH scripts are embedded in normal FLAC data files. FISH programming can significantly expand the modeling possibilities in FLAC. However, if done incorrectly, significant errors can be produced in the solution. As such, great caution and care should be used. In FLAC, ensure that record is clicked. Next click follow. The FISH script can then be typed directly here. As an example, consider the simple script provided. A FISH script or function is processed between the words DEF, short for define, and END. To execute the script, click Rebuild. Note that in this presentation, the blue text represents FLAC commands, the green text represents intrinsic or defined FISH variables, and the black text represents everything else. Referring back to the first line, DEF FUNK, this statement tells FISH you are about to speak FISH. The third line, end, tells FLAC you are done speaking fish. And the last line, func, executes the function. To view the values of the variables from the executed script, first click console. At the bottom beside FLAC, type print ABC for this example, and then hit enter. This will print the value of this variable. Notice highlighted by typing capital ABC, FISH is not case sensitive. When scripting in FISH, it is especially good practice to initialize all variables to be used. If not, FISH sets the variables to zero, not undefined, a result for which can produce undesired results. As an example, consider the script here where the results XYZ is five and XX is zero. When initializing a variable, this initialization can be done in the function. For example, xx equals three, or outside the function, but after the function is defined. For example, set xx equals three. Using the print fish command prints all defined fish functions and variables. In this particular example, abc acts like a function and a variable. When scripting in fish, it is important to note that integers should be defined and used as integers and reals defined and used as reals. As highlighted in this example, mixing types can create undesirable results. In fish, the semicolon can be used to create comments about the code. As with any programming language, this is good practice. In addition, to avoid overriding intrinsic FLAC or fish variables, it is recommended to use an additional symbol before the variable, such as an underscore. This completes a brief introduction into scripting with FISH. FISH is a powerful tool which the user is recommended to utilize. For further details on FISH scripting, please refer to the Itasca user manual. This third video completes the introduction of numerical modeling with FLAC. The goal of these videos was to provide the basics of FLAC so that users of the program will be able to better understand the numerical details of this program.